Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you everything that is new in at the range. I'm going to be looking at all the Easter stuff that they have, like all the crafts. There's some Easter home bits as well which are really nice. Also some things for spring and some Mother's Day gift ideas as well. So I really hope that you enjoy seeing that bit but do make sure that you stay tuned because at the very end of the video I'm going to show you what I bought. So it's only a very small haul um, so it's obviously not worth me showing you separately but I just thought you might be interested to see what I actually picked up. So basically I bought some things for Easter and then there's a few other little bits but all of it is kind of ch child related so if you are interested in watching that then keep watching and I'll come to that at the end. But yeah I really hope that you enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new. I do post Come Shop With Me's sometimes but I do post lots of motherhood and lifestyle content as well throughout the week. I do food tours on Friday and I share like day in the life vlogs things that I've learned like tips and reviews, different things like that. So I really love to have you here. But anyway, let's, let's get straight into it. I'll show you the shop at the range and then you'll come back to me in a minute. Right, so I'm going to start off with the Easter section first because it was such a big section and there's plenty here to go through. So they had quite a few little like buckets and baskets. They had these felt ones, which were 2 dollars They also had a few little pens here, as you can see, as little bunny ones and also little chick ones. They had lots of different crafts. So this was only $1.99, which I thought was brilliant for two little bunnies that you paint. And they also had that egg there. And then they had that little like, cupcake set there. They also had some cuddly toys. They had a sheep and kind of looked like a teddy bear but I think it was meant to be a rabbit and they were $6.99 and then what I'm looking at there is some wooden bunting which I think is really lovely and then that's another smaller version as well I couldn't actually work this out I'm not sure what it was it's like a notebook but whether you tear out the page and use, use them for something I don't know let me know if you know they also had a paint your own egg little set there and this was quite nice they had like ornaments here so that was $3.99 you get four in a packet and it also comes with the little paints and a paintbrush so I think that was really sweet they also had make your own windmill kit which I think if Arthur was just a little bit older I really would have liked to have got that for him he actually loves windmills but I thought it was probably a little bit fiddly for him to really do much of so I didn't buy that one they had this activity pack here for $3.99 they had a make your own daffodil wreath, which looked really lovely. And there's some more bunting. <laughs> yes, there's just lots of things that you can make clearly. But yeah, here's a stencil wheel. So that's nice if you're making like Easter cards or anything like that, that would be nice for that. They also had some cookie cutters, which were super cheap too. I've already got some actually from last year. I've actually just bought another one from somewhere else. But yeah, they did have those as well. A little tree there, which would be quite nice to hang your little like decorations off. And then they had these buckets, which were quite a nice size. They were tin, they were £1.50 I believe, but I kind of preferred the baskets, so. But yeah, they were quite a nice little size. That is some wasabi tape there, which was 75p. And then they had those tinsel decorations, which were different prices, but yeah, you could see those there. They also had a make your own hat kit with like a 3D design on it. And then even this sticker book, which was lovely, which is just Easter, however, as you'll see me flick through and I show at the very end of it, you can see the stickers in it are very, very small. So for us and for Arthur, who's two, it's probably not that ideal really. They're probably a bit small. He likes big stickers, but yeah, it's quite a sweet little book anyway. And then the range had lots and lots and lots of these little yellow chicks. So I have some of these anyway at home from last year, but they had so many like different versions of the same thing. They also had little rabbit ones as well, and I think they were all a pound. So you can get like a set of just like the plain ones or ones that looked a bit different. There was like two or four in a pack or something like that. But yeah, they're really cute. So they had lots of those. If you are doing an Easter egg hunt, then they had things for that. So these are stickers, which I mean, that's it's quite fancy isn't it, it's quite nice. So that's a good idea, I'm actually gonna do a hunt for Arthur. They had those ones which you stick in your window. They also had a tablecloth there. That is some more stickers as you can see. And then this is a second tablecloth, so it is different. So I'm not, I think both of them were just a color your own one, but yes, there were two different ones. They also had these flowers there which are really pretty. 
um, and they had a unicorn, which I'm not quite sure is very Easter, but it was there. Um, they had a colouring canvas, and they, they had quite a few different wooden ones actually, which you could either like paint or colour in with felt pens, or something like that. And also there were a couple of these mosaic kits as well. They had a few different types of like shredded paper and things to make if you're making like a hamper or something for anyone. They had that. They also had this big egg, which I didn't actually think was Easter at, in the beginning, but if when I turn it around, as you see, inside are, are actually some different key rings. Sorry, I'm struggling to get that off there. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, they had key rings, which I think they are, that is Easter. I can see a chicken and rabbit there, but yeah, so that's something a bit different as well. So that was only £2.20, so I did like that. They also had these little like eggs as well, that was more abundant. And those carrots, I actually had carrots like that last year, far off there. Um, and yeah, just more like decorations there. They had some Easter cards which you could buy and then colour in yourself. And they had some polystyrene bunnies, again if you wanted to paint those or use them for crafting. I really liked this little bag which you could colour in, but I wasn't I wasn't sure. I, I think maybe, maybe I should have got it, but I did get a few things anyway. But yeah, I did actually like that. They also had these Easter masks, which were a pound, and then I think these were the same stickers, but I think these are, I think this was a smaller version, I'm not sure, it could be the same. Um, and then some tissue paper there, and then these like brightly coloured metallic eggs, again for like hanging on if you've got like a little tree or something, and you've got somewhere to like put these things, or whether you're doing an Easter egg hunt and you could put these outside or something, that'd be quite nice to do. That was a little scratch art set there. And there's some more little rabbit stickers if you want to decorate something, like cars or something, they're quite big those stickers. And then yeah, you've got some more stickers here. So lots of different Easter stickers. Arthur really loves stickers. Um, and they are quite fun, aren't they? So the range had a really good range, pardon the pun, but yeah, they, they actually did. Even colouring ones, which I thought was good. They had these little Easter egg picks, which I don't know, is that what you put in, I don't know, cakes or something? Little tags there, they also had some bunny ears, and they had a little kit for an Easter egg hunt, which came with like a, a few signs and things like that, and they even had a colour your own house, so this was 9 99 and yeah, I think that's quite a good price. So they did have quite a few little baskets, so they had a little hamper one there, so that was 5 99 in two different colours, pink and yellow, and then just a few different baskets. So that little one was £1.50, and then they had different colours, and as you can see, yellow, pink, purple, and then also two bigger ones, so it was one like medium, and then this one was a much larger one. So yes, plenty of baskets to choose from. And then I found this little section actually somewhere else. This is with the like more the, the craft and children's bit. So and this was at the very end, so sorry this bit is a little bit quick, but yeah, there's lots more there. So more craft things, more colour in things and like making things, activity books, colouring pads there. These little like hanging rabbits randomly, which is like quite nice. Little silicone moulds there, which is good. So if you want to make your own Easter eggs, they had those as well. They also had these fillable eggs, which are really good. Um, they had those little rabbit ears there. Um, they had those stamps, as you can see, which are quite good. But they were two ninety nine. So I wasn't, and I sort of usually has the other ones, which are like easier to hold, I think. But I would have loved to have found some Easter stamps, but never mind. Um, and there's different foam shapes there, which they stick, but they're a nightmare to get off these foam shapes, so I didn't get those. But yeah, lots of different things there, as you can see, another little decoration. So on to the Easter chocolate, which is just as good, in my opinion. So they have plenty in, I was actually quite surprised, so I went to the range, you know, a while ago, and I saw all of this, and I couldn't believe that it was in as early as it was because it doesn't feel like Easter is anytime soon but you know it's good to be prepared but they, yeah they had lots and lots of different chocolate Easter eggs and like all the little ones as well they also had just like some box of chocolates this was filmed after Valentine's Day by the way but that sign said Valentine's Day I think they still had like some remainder of things but anyway, yeah they had those uh, lint rabbits which are always nice some of those eggs and the babies one salted caramel Easter egg which are really nice, and also a Guinness one, which I've never seen before. They also had a few different lint Easter eggs and all the different chocolate that they do, and then they had like a few different like Christmassy bits, which I don't know if you just saw that there was like a teddy bear one. I don't think that was reduced actually, but that was still there. Then they had, I really like the look of the Thornton's egg, and they had these, which were two for five pounds, so they're slightly smaller I think, but 
I actually think that's a really good price and the Thornton's chocolate is really good so yeah I, we, I don't know where we're gonna buy us from but there you go they also had those little chick ornaments randomly in the chocolate section they had little ones as well they had loads of different packets of little eggs they also had those like individual little rabbits there and the Maltesers bunnies which I pretty much get if not that, something very similar to that, like every year. Just like little ones is quite nice to have, even if it's just for me and Matt while I do that. Then they had little kinder, little character ones as well. And yeah, just lots of different Easter eggs. You get the idea. But yeah, there was so many there. A really good range, actually. Sorry to use the word again. I just wanted to quickly show you they also had like a tiny little section for Pancake Day 2. So then moving on to like homeware, they had like a few spring and Easter related homeware bits in. So I really like that tree actually at the top there. Little Easter bunny, it was quite sweet for $8.99. And then I always, I've never had a wreath, you know, apart from Christmas one, but I always do admire people's front doors because I think it does look quite nice. But yeah, they had an Easter one, which was really good. They have that little hanging rabbit there as well, which is quite a nice little decoration. And they had that little, like a candle holder in a wreath, I suppose, if that's the correct term for it. And they also had that, I wish that was a wreath or like some, like a decoration, but I think it was a wreath. But yeah, that was quite nice and bright. They also had some candles, which I think I saw them before. Love those glass jars with like bunny ears on the top. They were $4.99 each. And just a couple of like rabbit themed decorations they also have that button there so i'm not decorating my house or changing my house for spring but i know a lot of people do like season to season um it's probably a bit too much effort for me but <laughs> i admire the people that do it um but yeah the range did have quite a nice little selection of like easter and spring stuff they also have a happy easter sign as well which i think was quite sweet I really like this little bit, um, so I think some of this isn't, I think I've seen that tray before, but I thought I would just show you because I think this is kind of like Mother's Day-ish range, so I thought I would just pop this in there to show you because I quite like that like pinky and rose gold colours. They had so many different candles, I didn't realise that the range saw so many, but like reed diffusers as well, and then lots and lots of different candles as you can see, like from very small and tea lights to very big ones. They also have a lot of LED candles, which I have seen before. So they've had these ones, like a set of three in different colours. They had red, like rose gold and that yellowy one. And then this section, I assume, was kind of like out for Mother's Day inspiration as well. If it's pink, like it usually, <laughs> they usually have quite a lot of pink stuff for Mother's Day. Um, but yeah, I really like these little jugs there. They were cute for 3 99 They had a few different like faux flower arrangements pot pourri. They also had this little basket, which I do want, because it was reduced, I do wonder if this was like for Valentine's Day originally, but I thought that was quite nice just to like put somewhere, a bit of storage or something. I thought it was quite nice. And yeah, they had, as, I mean, they've got loads of different fake flowers, so I didn't want to show you them all, but that was in that section. They also had some bouquets there, as you can see, and also some gifts and like gift ideas, especially for Mother's Day little like candle holders there i really like these plants in those urns that was 8.99 i wasn't sure if that was like expensive or not but i did like that i think that would make a really nice present they also had some smaller ones like that as well so there's the bonsai tree one which you can see there and then also a hyacinth which is a lovely spring flower they had quite a good range i would say of mother's day cars which you can see there and yeah i mean i think some of this stuff they've kind of just like collected from around the shop so it's not specifically in for mother's day but i just wanted to show you it just to maybe give you some ideas either what is at the range or you know if you want inspiration what to get your mum we're a month away but you know that time will soon fly by as always does i really love that floral decoration there in that glass bowl i think it's a little bit pricey personally for what it is but yeah it is nice and it's all hanging the photo frame is quite sweet and i thought this was nice until i saw all you need is love which kind of i think is for valentine's day really um, they did have that little flower arrangement there which i think is really cheap like considering the other one was a lot more expensive and this one as well i really love those like peachy colors there is the basket, I think I showed you that before. But yeah, if you're like making a hamper, I have done a video all about hamper ideas, by the way, which was for Christmas, but you could really use a lot of those anyway. So I'll link that video as well. They had lots of like lanterns. They had a few more like yellow homeware bits, which I think is new. Um, do let me know, I haven't been there for a little while. But yeah, I thought that was, you know, if you, if you do kind of change up your homeware and home accessories, then 
yellow is obviously a really nice spring colour so I just kind of wanted to show you what I could find. I also really liked this tray so it's just shiny because it's got like plastic protection but yeah it's just like wooden cut, cut out and that was 9 99 but I really liked that and then it also had those kind of like quite modern print storage bags I guess you could call them and then kind of in like I guess they kind of bring this sort of stuff out for spring summer like the outdoor range so I don't know if this is like for indoor or outdoor but I actually really like those like cacti in the silver I don't know container hang to hang up but yeah I really liked those I thought that was quite cool so I wanted to show you um, and just some more flowers and plants which is always nice you know when I think when it comes to this time of year and the flowers start coming up I think it's nice to maybe like bring some of that indoors so if you haven't got real flowers just having some like arrangements like this I think really does look nice now, I wanted to show you this because I used to, oh, well, I still got one I don't think it works um, I think my nan and my auntie bought that so I just wanted to put that in there um, and then they did have these really big I don't know if you can tell how big they are like big jugs kind of like rusted looking but you know they're quite cool for the garden so they were 11.99 so i kind of like those um, and then they did have these little butterflies but i just thought i'll just show you what they are because i thought they were quite cute i think children would really like those and then I quite like those glass jars there. So that was reduced as well. So some of this was reduced, I'm not really sure why. Um, and then they had some quite like summer themed candles, yellow and like citronella, which obviously would be great for keeping away the insects in the summer. I really liked that floral arrangement there. And that jug, there's just like quite a few nice things really. I do like flowers and some of these looked very realistic actually. I think they were quite good quality to be fair. And then this little section I kind of find right at the end, so I just wanted to quickly show you. I don't know if this was brought out for Mother's Day or Valentine's or just anyway. I think it was quite new, so they had lots of like crockery, I guess. Pink, white or grey, I think a lot of it came in, or just pink and white. But yeah, they had like biscuit barrels. I can't remember what that is. There. I think that's egg cups there, that one for $1.99, a little egg cup, which is quite cute. Um, they also had different plates and bowls in that as well. That's a really nice colour. My mum would like that, to be fair. They also had these toast racks, that little tea, I think it's like a teaspoon or tea bag rest, caddy type of thing, big jugs as well. And then last but not least, I just want to show you these. I really like these little storage baskets with pom, I love a pom pom. So I just wanted to show you that as well. So here is my mini little haul. As I say, it's, I know it's not much at all, um, but I'll just start off with the Easter things. So first thing I've got this little basket. I mean, it's a bit small. I kind of ideally it would be a little bit bigger, but as you saw the ones at the range that were bigger, their handles were really long. I mean, Arthur's only two, so it kind of would be dragging them on the floor, but you know, he can fit a few little things in there. So yeah, I am planning to do maybe some sort of Easter egg hunt. I didn't do it last year. I mean, he wasn't walking and maybe a bit young anyway, but I thought it'd be quite cool to do something like that for him. So I got that and that was only £1.50 and they had a few colours. I also got some stickers. They had a few different Easter stickers. So how much were these ones? I have got my uh, receipt here. So these stickers were only a pound and yeah, there's quite a lot there. So I thought that was just quite sweet to get. Arthur absolutely loves stickers. I've got these fillable eggs. So you get uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, which is quite good. All different colors. They, I think I've got some before, but they are a little bit bigger. These are slightly smaller, but that's okay. But yeah, I think I've like lost some like halves of the eggs from last year, which I just did kind of like activities with. So some of these I might do activities with, or some of them I'll definitely try and fit something in there to go with, like for his Easter egg hunt. So I got those, I really love that they're all different colors as well. And they were at £1.49, which I don't think is too bad at all. I also got these daisies here. Um, I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with these to be honest with you. These were £1.49 and they're like 3D. I think they've got like little, they have got stems, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I was thinking if I do do some sort of like messy play idea or like, you know, like sensory play, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Like I've seen different setups. I did it quite good last, um, quite a good setup last year. So maybe something like that again, like use like a base, you know, like you can do colour rice and things like that put it in a bowl and then like, you know, make like a little Easter scene. I don't know, I'm not really sure, but I just thought they were nice. <laughs> don't know why I'm gonna use them, but you know, you buy these things. And then I've also got these, so I spotted these quite near the end, colour your Easter eggs, and there's two in there. They are wooden, but I actually thought, 
that I could paint them. I didn't realise, to be honest anyway, that they do have pens, but I don't know. So, I mean, we could do pens, but I also might prefer to do paints because we did do something very similar for, well, for Halloween and Christmas, actually. So these were only a pound, so how cheap is that? We've also got these little like bunnies and baskets. I do have quite a lot of the chicks again from last year, so I didn't do anything like that, but I just thought that's quite cute. And even something like that. So what I do is Easter egg hunt. I'm not actually going to do it all chocolate because I think that's just gonna to be too much chocolate. So I'm gonna do like other things. So this could be something that he finds as well, perhaps, or maybe I'll put that on my little scene. And I think they were probably a pound, lots of those. Little things were a pound, weren't they? I think were they a pound? Yeah, they were a pound. And then just I just got a few little chocolates. I mean, I have I don't know. We might. I'm not sure what we're gonna do for our actual Easter eggs this year. So this one's got a bit ruined, unfortunately. As you can see, it's like kind of coming down at the bottom. And it is meant to be a rabbit, but he's lost his ears. So the ears were just cardboard. So it's a bit of a shame. <laughs> so this was gonna be something for his hunt because it's only little. I think it was 65p or something like that. So I don't know. I, mean, I might try and find like another one if I can. But yeah, I got him. I've also got two, did I, I thought I bought three of these, did I only buy two, maybe I only bought two, um, of these bunnies, now, I think, oh yeah, I think it was two for a pound or something like that, so maybe I did only buy two, but yeah, I just thought I'd get those, because they're always nice, I love that chocolate, and then, this isn't Easter, obviously this is actually Christmas, but it was only 25p, so I did buy, I think I bought three, and we've had um, two already, me and my husband, so that's the last one, yeah, obviously it's a little reindeer. But I just thought I'd show you anyway. I did also buy some bagels, but they're in the freezer because they run out of date, but they were half price. So I did get that as well. <laughs> and then last Easter thing is I bought these little um, chocolate eggs. They had so, so many mini eggs. So I got those and uh, how much were they? They were £1.49. So yeah, that's my little Easter stash. And then these next things, most of this is for my niece for her birthday, actually. So as you can see, I've got two of these. That's because one is for my niece and one is for Arthur. So... I think they call this uh, something like, I don't know, something a striker. This it says a loose bar. Um, well, I was trying to like Google it. I don't know if that's a proper name, but yeah, it's just like a little wooden musical instrument. I think it was only £1.99 or something like that. So yeah, really cheap. Um, but I just thought Arthur would like one and I just got one for my niece as well. This is for Arthur. So this is kind of, it was with these. I don't think it necessarily, it's not an Easter thing, but obviously it is egg shaped just like a little shaker um, and again I thought that I could probably put that with is like Easter egg hunt or maybe I should just call it Easter hunt and that was £1.50 I believe I can't remember if there was different designs I think a lot of them were gone probably people have got similar ideas to me but yeah that's Arthur's and then for my niece I mean Arthur would probably like these as well so my niece is turning four um, and to be honest with you probably a lot of things that she likes I could easily buy for Arthur <laughs> so it's quite hard to like restrain myself and try not to with all of her presents. But anyway, these are for her. These were three ninety nine, just like little finger puppets. They are, um, I don't know, like plasticky, like quite quite hard actually. Yeah, they're not very soft. But yeah, she loves dinosaurs, so I thought they were really good. She's enjoying playing with those. Also dinosaur related, I got this little sticky notes. There was some stationery like this in this range, and it was all reduced. I don't know why, but these were only fifty p, and I just thought it was like a cute little extra present so I also got that for her um, then I got this for her so this is like a light up butterfly this is one is it 149 I think yeah, I thought it was 199 149 um, so it just a flash as you saw in the come shop with me video so that was quite sweet it's just like a few little extra things really and then this last thing that I bought her are these stickers so she loves stickers again like I said as does Arthur I was trying to find some like space related ones on Etsy but I couldn't find like exactly what I was looking for um, and also they're a bit more expensive but these were only I think they were 99p or something like that and I thought they were a bit different because they glow in the dark <laughs> so I just thought I would get that little sheet there so yeah that's it that's everything that I spent at the range I think it came to yeah it was £23.72 as I said there were some bagels and a couple of reindeers that we've eaten they're only, they're only 50p um but yeah that was what I bought oh and I did also buy some birthday cards but I've already given them to her so that I bought her like a niece one and a number one as well and that concludes my little range shop I really hope that you enjoyed seeing everything that I found at the range. I just wanted to pick out a few 
bits that I liked really. I think quite a lot of the homework stuff I've seen in there before but hopefully I gave you a good feel of what's new there and all the spring stuff was really really lovely actually. I'm really excited for spring. I went to the range really quickly the other day just to get one thing and I kind of like ran in and out of the shop but whilst I was there I noticed that they had all this lovely Easter stuff and gift things so I kind of really wanted just to go back there to buy some things for Arthur and I just thought whilst I'm there I may as well film it and show you as well. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing everything that I picked up in the range and also what's new there and what's new in for Easter and spring and all of that kind of thing. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I really hope to see you next time. Bye everyone!